At the end of December, video emerged on YouTube of a public freakout that was so ridiculous, I thought it was probably fake. Oh, no, I meant the other public freakout at the end of December. Ma'am, once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. It was general. Right beforehand, you fucking said sir. I'm sure you've seen the footage by now. The story goes this Tiffany Moore person was returning a video game to an Albuquerque GameStop after Christmas, and the cashier, in all likelihood accidentally, called Tiffany Sir. And Tiffany, of course, didn't take kindly to that misgendering and got aggressive with the cashier and other customers, even threatening to fight the employee over the issue. Motherfucker, take it outside. If you want to call me Sir again, I will show you a fucking Sir. Okay, so once again, it's ma'am, because if you call me a Sir, I will show you a Sir, because I'm not a Sir. I'm a ma'am. Trying to follow that frustrates my mind, and maybe that's what frustrated Tiffany too, who kicked store property in very ladylike fashion on the way out before threatening to alert the entire LGBTQ community. Motherfucker! I apologize now. I plan on telling the entire LGBTQ community you're going to lose money over this. So I don't know if they have like an email list or an official Facebook group, or maybe they just put up a big rainbow flag bat signal in the sky. But as of this recording, I've not seen any news of LGBTQ justice squads descending upon GameStop. But in the meantime, Tiffany did appear on local news in Albuquerque to tell his side of the story. And yes, I am using male pronouns, not out of any unique disrespect for Tiffany. I'm just employing the state farm rule. Well, she's a guy, so. According to the headline, Tiffany is doubling down on claims of mistreatment, doing damage to my suspicion that this was all some big orchestrated hoax. If this is trolling or fakery, it's the most impressive commitment to the bit I've ever seen. Nobody puts in hoop earrings unless they're serious, right? And come on, finding pink women's shoes in size men's 16? must have been damn near impossible. For its part, the story gets right to what matters, the memes. I was so angry at that point because it, literally five or six times he had called me sir and got me so fuming and angry and I was cussing that. The internet responding to the viral clip with memes like Superman, Aquaman, and Macho Man, Tranny Savage. Tranny is a slang term for transgender that many find offensive and derogatory. I don't know. I actually consider that meme more offensive and derogatory to the late great Macho Man. Comparatively speaking to the Macho Man Randy Savage, you are nothing but garbage, yeah. I give a mainstream news outlet credit for picking up on meme culture, but they missed the deepest cut of the week. In related news, Gillette has released a statement praising Tiffany for reforming his toxic masculinity. The interview continues with additional details I will definitely be keeping my eye on. Apparently, Tiffany is a local rapper who is in the process of making a music video about this incident. It's, it's, it's bringing so many bigots out of the woodwork. But more, a local MC and rapper isn't letting the memes get to her. She's using her newfound viral fame to raise awareness about the transgender community, and she even wrote a song to get her message out there. But don't bother scouring the internet looking for this. I already did. As far as I can tell, it doesn't yet exist. For now, I just hope he samples the village people on this track. It is man. Once again, man. The interview continues with Tiffany reflecting on his own actions during the incident. As for how Moore handled the situation inside the store with that expletive-filled outburst. And yeah, I could I could have reacted a whole lot better. But you know what? I, I look back at it. If I could, I wouldn't change a single thing. I would do it 100,000 times again. I would kick over that display 100,000 times again because my actions were justified. I mean, it was it was blatant and malicious hate. It was blatant and malicious misgendering. So you could have acted better, but if given the chance to, you wouldn't. Because some poor kid being confused is mistreatment so great it justifies your threatening aggression and damage to property. This is where the news coverage gets really frustrating to me. To accept the claim that the employee was malicious, you have to assume he was malicious. And I think especially given the repeated apologies from this kid, it's much more sensible to assume he was simply confused by this supposedly dainty lady with roid rage threatening to fight him outside. Still, the station brings on some local local transgenderism expert to explain why Tiffany is actually the victim. But it's hard when you get misgendered. It really hurts. It's when somebody misgenders you, they're saying you failed to gender yourself clearly in my eyes. Yeah. 
Exactly, but not just in that one person's eyes, actually in anyone's eyes. Nobody is going to see Tiffany and think, my oh my, what a broad set of shoulders and a chiseled jawline on that nice young lady. And that's not malice, that's not aggression, that's just innocent confusion. And if ever there was a case for such confusion, Tiffany is it. So the store clerk was pretty unconscious um, and kind of blew it there. He had a chance. If he just said ma'am a few times really prominently, mm -hmm. that probably would have defused the whole thing, but he didn't do that for one reason or another. Okay, so we're going to build a society in which the most emotionally fragile have moral control over the rest of us. Whoever's the most offended assumes the throne to police the speech of the rest of us. And not only do we have to be conscious about what not to say, but we will be compelled to say words that will appease the queen or be morally wrong in our behavior otherwise. What about the person who was physically aggressive and threatening in this situation? The transgender person... She'd have been better off if she walked out, but, you know, I'm not here to judge her. She, you know, she was triggered for whatever reason. And I've been triggered, you know, and I've said things I've re regretted. We all have. Ah, the triggered defense. Smart. I think that's how Johnny Cochran got OJ off. If the pronoun doesn't fit... You must acquit. At least GameStop has found some base-level courage and conviction. The company released a statement standing by its employee. The incident that occurred between Tiffany Moore and our GameStop associate was unfortunate. We believe our associate acted professionally after misspeaking by apologizing and remaining calm to de-escalate the situation. What a bunch of he-ma'am woman haters, I guess. That's a welcome response in the right direction, especially these days when so many businesses immediately cave in the face of even the most insane and flimsy accusations of bigotry and discrimination. Still, it's my hope that in the future, GameStop and news coverage like this will go one step further and actually call out people who think words they don't like are justification to act violently, a concept I thought was a pillar of our society. In all my years as a consumer, I've dealt with dozens of employees who I thought were rude or disrespectful at all sorts of businesses, restaurants, bars, stores, wherever, and never have I threatened these employees or damaged a business's property on account of my inability to control my own rage. And if I did, I'd rightly expect there to be consequences for my actions, not say it's okay because I'm emotionally fragile and the world owes me accommodation in my delusions. As funny as it may have been, there was nothing justified about the way Tiffany behaved. And we're doing our society a disservice when we pretend that there is. In no other circumstance were we say words justify this sort of behavior, especially accidental words. And since this whole movement is supposedly pursuant to equality, Equality is all you get, not special treatment. Special treatment, because you're some special kind of triggered, is inherently unequal. And companies like GameStop have got to develop the backbone to say, I don't care why you're mad. Whether it's because you hate the video game you just bought, or because you're a man who thinks you're a woman, you will not come into our stores and threaten our employees or damage our property. And if you do, we will apply the available consequences. Whatever happens, I just know I gotta hear this rap track the second it releases. I'm counting on you guys to link me. Email's in the description. Thanks as always for listening and for supporting this channel always. Appreciate that thoughtful discussion down below and especially over on Twitter. That's at ML Christensen. You're always welcome to come hang out and chat in my live streams. Those are linked down in the description. Looking forward to it. Goodbye. Okay,